Air travel transports 2 billion people a year, 43 million tons of goods, but emits 650 million tons of carbon a year. Though ships and cars produce more total pollution than aeroplanes, we're increasingly flying for holidays, city breaks and business. Emissions are growing and growing, and by 2020 they will be 75% higher than in 2008. This is a problem. That said, the aviation industry has made great strides in improving its efficiency. Better plane design, towing to and from gates, and more gradual descents on landing are all making a significant difference. While around the world, advanced satellite navigation systems could be phased in to help aircraft choose the more fuel-efficient flight path every time. But what about the fuel? The first test flights of aircraft using non-petroleum-based fuels were back in 2008. Yet fuel tankers on the runway tarmac today still fill planes with only one type of fuel, petroleum-based fuel which produces a great deal of carbon. Unlike cars, passengers cannot choose an alternative to fossil fuel-powered planes for their travel. What's the holdup? Producers have demonstrated that they can make these fuels. They've proven that they are safe. But frankly, not many people know what renewable fuels are, or that there are lots of different types. Unlike fossil fuels, which are extracted from the ground, then used only once, renewable fuels can be made over and over again. They can be made from things like natural waste, like broken branches, as well as sugar, vegetable oil, or even your garbage, or more imaginative sources like pollution from factories and algae. With such a bountiful array, why aren't airlines running renewable fuels already? Well, manufacturers are producing renewable fuels in small amounts, but they can't currently increase the production. They lack large orders from airlines and money from banks and investors. And the airlines aren't buying large quantities because they don't yet know which fuels are best for them. Each producer claims to have the best fuel, but they can't all be right. What makes a good or bad source of renewable fuel? Renewable fuels shouldn't compete for food or replace natural forests. They shouldn't come from fossil fuels like petroleum that we only use once, and their benefits and safety should be scientifically proven and tested. At Carbon War Room, the team wanted to help airlines identify the best fuels, so they asked fuel producers from around the world to send, and as importantly keep sending, their latest data. Because if airlines knew which fuel to buy, they would place bigger orders with fuel producers, which would help producers to raise the money needed to build commercial-scale production facilities and help provide greener air travel for us all. If you want to help get renewable fuels into planes sooner, please contact the team.